Now this one right here, Bill Gates with the vomit. You know, there's Bill Gates that I knew and there's the Bill Gates of today. I don't know what happened to Bill. The Bill Gates I knew was a vicious, relentless capitalist who hated to lose and was extremely good at dominating a market and just winning. And it could be Internet Explorer, it could be Office, it could be Windows, this proliferation. And you know, he just was really good at all of that. Somewhere along the way, Bill Gates became a humanitarian and the game completely changed for him. And he started wearing the sweater every day, even if it's 90 degrees outside and, uh, you know, doing his his thing. And uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is so vast, it's almost like a government agency at this point because it has so much money. We weigh tens of millions of dollars every day, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It's like you don't normally do that in a charity that's a government agency that does this type of a thing. And he's really enjoying his retirement and he has a diverse set of interests. Now, you can always debate, are the use of funds adequate? Will, are they being used in a wise way? Is he focusing on the right problems and so forth? But you know what? He's the guy who made all the money. Uh, so it's his prerogative on how he spends it, where he spends it, and what he does uh, with it. Uh, so uh, the issue he has is that he doesn't seem to care at all about certain dimensions of public relations. Uh, there's a perception, and it's not a small perception, of people believing that Bill is part of a large New World Order conspiracy to massively depopulate the human race and murder hundreds of millions of people. Now, he can play the victim and say he's completely blameless in this, but people are innately suspicious of extremely powerful, extremely wealthy, unaccountable people whose motives are not completely clear, who operate in a, a not super transparent way. And he's not accountable to anybody like a government agency would be. And as a consequence, he can do things that normal people can't. And I see those things in Africa, for example, uh, the creation of the Agricultural Transformation Agency. A private citizen usually can't approach a government and say, yeah, I'm just going to create something to solve your starvation problem. I'll pay for it and force the prime minister. Here's the check for it. Get it done tomorrow. Here's the guy to lead it. Um, and when you have that kind of superpower, if people don't understand the motives of the person with that superpower, they're inclined to believe nefarious actions and activity. If he was really cognizant and aware of how problematic that is, then what Bill should do is ditch the sweater and go on the Rogan effect, you know, Joe Rogan and go and actually engage people and talk to real human beings, not the Davos crowd at the World Economic Forum and South by Southwest and major elite parties and hanging out with presidents, but everyday people. Contrast Bill Gates with Elon Musk. Elon is just as rich at this point, and he is literally building a company to put neurological implants into your brain. When we talk about Bill depopulating people with like nanobots and vaccines, it's like it's out there. Like Elon is literally drilling holes into people's skulls and putting shit into your brain that can influence your brain. And people are totally chill with Elon Musk. Why? Because they get Elon Musk. They feel a relationship with Elon Musk. They kind of understand where this guy is coming from. They see him in a way that they don't see Bill. For example, Bill had tremendous problems with the U.S. government in the 1990s with uh, the antitrust issues, as Mark Zuckerberg is now going through, it's kind of a modern day Bill Gates. And not once did Bill go to the media and lament and really spill everything out and say, God, these guys suck. And you know, he didn't show humanity. He did what all Fortune 500 CEOs do. Elon Musk has problems with his Fremont plant making Teslas. And he thinks this whole coronavirus lockdown thing is just horseshit. So what does he do? He goes to Twitter and complains about it and then says, if you guys don't get your act together, I'm moving to Texas. And he follows through on it. When you do those things, it humanizes you and builds a relationship and people understand you at least enough to kind of get a sense of your motives. And so when you do things like build missiles and rockets and you do things like make cars and solar power and batteries and these types of things, uh, it in a way makes that understandable and people are okay with it. Uh, SpaceX, if Elon Musk acted like Bill Gates, uh, would probably be one of the most conspiratorial companies. A huge chunk of their revenue 
comes from secret government launches and projects with the Air Force and other things. Elon probably does hold a top secret clearance and is, has access to a lot of very proprietary information that's a very, very secret squirrel stuff. There would be alien conspiracies to the max with SpaceX if Elon didn't have that relationship. I don't understand why Bill Gates' people and Bill Gates himself doesn't get this. And if he was just to go on Joe Rogan's show, just to engage with these people, just to actually humanize himself and get rid of the sweater and the polished demeanor and so forth, uh, a lot more people would trust him. And if a lot more people trust him, I think he could be so much more effective.